courage. Maya Angelou once said that without courage, we cannot practice any other virtue consistently. We cannot be kind, true, merciful, generous. We cannot be honest. And she was right, because courage is about overcoming fear. And people who have fear do not have love consistently. People who are afraid cannot be kind and generous and merciful. I would add to Maya Angelou's words that without courage, we cannot be innovative, we cannot be inventive. Because without courage, we cannot even imagine new things. We cannot imagine a new future. We cannot act on ideas that we have. And we cannot persist through difficulty. So courage, really truly, is a basis for all the other virtues. Consider this image of the world at night. Many of you have seen this. And when we look at this image, what we see are dark areas and light areas. The dark areas are the, the oceans, the deserts. There's some dark areas that we hope will always be dark, like the rainforests. But there are areas that have light. And I would argue that this image is a map of human advancement. This is an image of economic and technological advancement in humanity. It is also a map of encouraged and discouraged citizens. It is a map of encouragement and discouragement. The world has seen a couple of perfect examples, Germany and Korea. Let's consider the Korean Peninsula. Same people, same culture, same colonial history. In the mid-1940s, a line was drawn on one side, citizens were empowered. On the other side, citizens were disempowered. Seven decades later, the map of the world at night over the Korean Peninsula shows a vastly different result in development. One is a land mass that is brightly lit, and the other looks like an ocean with a few islands in it. Why is that? And by the way, this phenomenon we saw with East and West Germany, and I would argue that on one side, citizens are empowered to advance their country, and on the other side, the citizens live in fear. The conversation I want to have with you this afternoon is about how we nurture courage. And I want to focus on just a few things. First, we need to encourage curiosity, exploration. Second, we need to celebrate human imagination. And third, we need to enable safe failure. We need to provide spaces for people to learn through trial and error, of learning from mistakes that are not fatal. And education is a very powerful means to do so. Of course, with examples like Korea, the political economy and governance are also an issue. But let's talk about education. And in particular, the example of what we're doing at Ashesi University College in Ghana and how we're addressing these three issues. First, creating a space where students can debate with each other and with the faculty, where they can take intellectual risks, and can learn from each other, where students can collaborate on assignments, creating a space where students can pursue their passions in the arts, in the sciences and technology, and creating an environment where they can learn first by building, for example, a robot in a closed environment and learn from that, and then build a more advanced machine that navigates a more open and dangerous environment. When I talked about the Korean Peninsula, I talked about governance. I talked about leadership. 
And the leaders that we need in the world are leaders who have deep ethical postures, who care about their society. And that is why at Ashesi we really focus on ethics and encourage our students to run a student honor system that they control, where they hold themselves individually and corporately accountable. And that is why we also encourage our students to go out and work in their communities through service learning as a means to build empathy. And when students have had this experience of exploring, of learning through trial and error, of reaching out to their community and solving problems, they build confidence, they build courage for their future. And I firmly believe that if our educational systems from primary school through higher ed do these three things, enable curiosity and exploration, celebrate human imagination, and provide safe learning spaces, safe spaces for students to fail and learn from them, and build deep ethical values that we truly will light up the world so that 70 years forward, if we look at the map of the world at night, it will be a brightly lit map where the only dark spots will be the oceans and the deserts and the carbon sinks that we want to maintain. Thank you very much.